what a lovely beginning to our evening. Hello, everybody at home, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, uh, what you probably don't know is that me and about three other people who are just over there in the other room are getting pretty much a live concert right now, so we're all very lucky. May I hear you other people in the other room? <laughs> See, I wasn't lying. They're really there. It's more than three, it's oh. four people. <laughs> oh yes, that's right. So three and a, and a tiny one in a belly who, um, who will soon appear and become the youngest and most avid jazz lover on the planet after experiencing this concert deluxe. Um, hi, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Margot. I will be hosting this evening. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I'm a long-term collaborator of Henning Luther, who is sitting diagonally behind me. Uh, he's a very nice man, he's also a drummer, and he also works for the Goethe Institute, so you might recognize him in any of those forms. Um, and he has been doing something really, really cool here uh, over the duration of the summer. He decided that he didn't want the Goethe to just be sitting here empty while uh, we were all locked down, so instead he decided to invite all his musician friends to come here and to jam together, and at the time you were recording that, and then at a certain point you were like, I want more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all want more right now, and a lot of us can't have more. But Henning can, and <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so he was like, "How about we take it to the next level? And not only do we record, but we start live streaming from here." For a while, there was an idea of maybe having some audience, but then we again went into a lockdown and was like, "Okay, let's do some live streams." And so here we are with you, um, and we are very glad to be here today. We have a curator slash double bass player who's standing behind me over here. And um, it's our Christmas event, and appropriately, his name is Thomas Winter Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. I give it up for Thomas Winter Anderson. <laughs> and Thomas Winter Anderson, together with Dan Herweg on the piano and Henning, decided that they would basically invite all their bestie friends uh, from the scene that they used to know, you know, like that, that scene like where you would go into a pub and there would be other people with bodies that sweat and stuff and played music and you would sit there and listen and maybe occasionally you would rub into each other, that, that old jazz scene. Well, <laughs> they, they met people there who were incredibly talented and they were like, we're gonna just invite all of them over here to perform for you this evening. And what's interesting is that many of them have never played together before. In fact, some of them have never even met. In fact, one of them just appeared here within a few hours because somebody else had an ear infection. So there's a lot of randomness happening, but I heard the rehearsal. It's very, very good stuff and it will get you in a holiday vibe. So. What say you? Shall we invite them onto the stage? Yeah, All right, come on in, everybody. Enjoy the music, and I will be back later with some poetry, a bit of musing, and I encourage all of you at home to share whatever comments you have, whatever vibes come up in you, or whatever questions you want to ask in the chat, and then I'll bring that back into the space, and we can communicate with each other in live and virtual space. But until then, enjoy the music.
Yes, thank you so much. Let's get a round of applause from everyone at home and the three people to four people in the back. Nice. So um, the last tune you just listened to was called You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To. And um, playing on that, we had Elister van der Mola on the trumpets and also Dan Herweg on the piano. Yes, another round of applause. Why not? <laughs> Multiple rounds of applause. And, uh, and the first tune that you listened to is called Everything I Love. And we had some brilliant guitar there from Evan Har Evan, who is currently now in the back somewhere. But let's applaud for him, even though he's miles away. And uh, yeah, as you as you may or may not have noticed, we are here with many many musicians, and uh, where usually all of us would be in some kind of small theater or in a pub or maybe even a concert hall or something of the like, um, we are gathered here and we're producing this music for you, which I think sounds rather good, especially bearing in mind that some of these people have never played together before. Um, but they're doing it out of the graciousness of their own hearts. So if you're feeling moved to make a small contribution towards the world of music, uh, which is all of our world, then there's also a PayPal link in the, um, the text underneath the live stream that you're watching now. And you can just go to it and you can just drop whatever you think uh, you'd like to donate for their Christmas presents in there. Like some people need new underwear. Um, some of us have been walking around with like just socks on the streets by now and they're like there's holes in there and our toes are like scrubbing across the streets. You know, it's, like a, it's a hard existence these days. So please, please. <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> well, you're still wearing shoes. <laughs> you're one of the rare ones. <laughs> one of the ones who, who still has <laughs> cash for leather on the feet. Um, how about, I was thinking that it would be, um, just fun to, to do like a tiny, tiny poem in preparation for Christmas. So my favorite thing to do is to improvise. So I'm just going to do that right now. And since we have a few musicians over here, I thought, let's just do a little, a little improvised thing where I start telling a poem. And if you feel that there's some sound that you'd like to put in there, you just put it in. Shall we do that? Yeah. All right, great. It was the week before Christmas, and all through the Goethe Institute, the dusty walls shook with the absence of colleagues. Henning Luther sat all by himself at the reception, waiting for someone to finally arrive. He stared up. He stared around, but nowhere in the Goethe Institute could he detect a sound. He was all alone at Christmas time. Suddenly the phone rang. Hello? Wrong call, the person on the other end said. Glumly, he hung up. Rising to his feet, he decided to move beyond his reception desk. He walked through every space in the Goethe Institute. He looked up at the chandelier. He realized he was in the most beautiful building of Amsterdam and he wasn't going to let this opportunity go away. Henning Luther looked around him and then he ran to the nearest coat room. He grabbed the most fabulous piece of fur he could find. He told himself, if I'm alone at Christmas time, I might as well be some crazy Santa Claus all on my own. Prancing around in his furs. He stopped in the center of the performance room and exclaimed, I am Santa Claus. And suddenly he realized he never needed to be a reception man again because he had found his new calling. Henning Luther was now the new Santa Claus of the Goethe Institute. He laughed to himself. He said, shut up, it can't be true. But you know, Lockdowns will make you do crazy things, kids. 
So before you question your next move on the job ladder, remember this. There was a man who once worked at the reception of the Goethe Institute who is now the Santa Claus of the Netherlands. Thank you. What do you think? No, let's get to the next one. Yeah? <laughs> let's see. I mean, I think these are all things that are really, really worth considering. And, you know, I, I, I encourage all of us to think about the alternatives for our lives. And I think this one is for you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening to that tiny and crazy little poem. And now, without any further ado, let's have some more music. to change the mood I'm in I'd welcome a nice old nightmare darn that dream but blessed do Oh 
darn, darn, the one track mine, mine. Oh, it can't understand that you don't care just to change. Bless it too without that dream I never would have you But it haunts me and it won't come true Oh darn, darn, darn that dream Oh yes, um, uh, let's start with uh, Alistair van der Molen, who I met today, super nice to meet you and to hear you play. <laughs> Natalio Sued, all the way from Argentina. Then there's Thomas Winter Andersen, playing the bass and putting all of us in some kind of puzzle together. And there's of course, oh that's the new Santa Claus. Oh, that's Henning Luther. <laughs> Henning, yuppie! <laughs> and uh, great to play with Dan Herberg on the piano. Yeah. My name is Laura Collins, and Marco is also doing a great job. I think you should join us also later, uh, like by, by some nice uh, rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, Eran is here hiding. Eran is gonna return actually now. Did you know? Yeah, you're gonna play this one, right? <laughs> Eran Hareven on the guitar. Thank you. 
invite again uh, Alistair and Natalio here, right? Pack up all my care and woe, here I go, singing low, bye, bye, blackbird. Where somebody waits for me, sugar's sweet, so is he, bye, 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 blackbird. Oh, no one here can love or understand me, oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. I'll make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight, Blackbird. Bye bye. I pack up all my care and woe. Here I go singing, oh, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye, bye. Blackbird. Where somebody waits for me. Sugar sweets always seen. Bye 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 blackbird. Oh, no one here can love or understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all hand me. Oh, make my bed and light the light. I'll arrive late tonight, blackbird.
It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, let's first of all give it up for our wonderful uh, vocalist. And I want to, I want to pronounce your name yeah, right. I'm gonna try. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I first need to turn to the right page, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. I really don't want to mess this up. Now it's getting very, very tense. All right. Still not on the right page. Okay. Here we go. Laura Polense. Yeah. Yes, I got it right. Give it up for Laura Polense. And also for the budding young jazz artist in her belly. Let's give it up for that budding young jazz artist. <laughs> I have a strong feeling that making these kind of like is like very good for, for a child. I imagine it would make me feel very like playful and excited about life before life, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, and also we had on the tenor sax Natalio Sued. Give it up for Natalio. <laughs> and she's already left the stage, but we also had Elister von der Mole, so please give it up for Elister von der Mole. <laughs> and I just want to check in with, um, with, with Thomas also and ask you, like, of this kind of hodgepodge of randomly organized musicians that have never played together before, are they doing all right? They're doing perfect. It sounds very uh, like a secret that we never uh, rehearsed, but of course we uh, spend most of our life to be able to do this. So it's a little bit, we, uh, we jump into the game and we, yeah. That's the nice thing about it. So I knew when I called them that it would work out. And uh, of course, uh, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but I knew I could trust all of them. And uh, they trust me, so they show up. And the same for Henning. <laughs> and sure. Yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, uh, Henning, uh, Henning uh, shows uh, off and everybody uh, else sh shows up. So, so that's, that's really the nice thing about uh, doing a session. So it's really a jam session, uh, except that we knew who was going to walk into the room to play. So sometimes when you play in a bar or something, somebody drops in that's maybe touring or playing in another place and coming back after a concert. So it's a little organized uh, session, but I wanted to sort of, um, yeah, put that on the stream and uh, just uh, call tunes and agree a little bit with yeah, you need a little more sound check, a little more technique and those kind of things, of course. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope I have some friends in Norway even uh, looking at it. Maybe uh, Natalia has some friends in Argentina, <laughs> Israel, Germany. You know, it's nice. Well, I can tell you my father is watching. Yeah, he put a comment in the thread. Maybe if my dad is on the, on the coach shop <laughs> in Norway, I'll say hello to him. He's, uh, <laughs> he's doing fine, I think, uh, in front of YouTube uh, regularly. Yeah. yeah, 88 years old. Oh well, wow, that's good. Yeah. So just for I mean, for the people that are watching that are that are that are not so, such experienced jazzos, 
is kind of hard to imagine what's happening here, but basically from what I understand, you, um, you send the music pieces around to each other, you're like, hey, how about this tune, how about that? You come here, you take an hour or two to jam it out together, and then, hey, bam, presto, here we go, we've got ourselves a concert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, this is kind of uh, incredible, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it was like just jammed together in the moment, but, um, but indeed it is. Yeah. I think I think you I think you're all doing a fantastic <laughs> job. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and and now that the um, and now that the compliments have begun, I'm also going to share with you some of the comments that appeared in the comment section. So we've got uh, Liebe Grüße aus Freiburg from Nadine Sachsinger. I hope I said that right. And then we have uh, a certain Seder Weltmann who just said, "Wow, klingt goed!" exclamation mark. Uh, Bertha Schiphorst says to you, see you Monday, Santa. <laughs> 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 uh, and my own father said, wow, what a treat. So it's all going well. All right, kids, let's enjoy some more music. Thank you. 
go the same way back.
Oh my, thank you so much uh, for these four fantastic tunes. And the penultimate one was a self-composed one, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Yes, that's the, one. the last two. And, 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 and by whom were they composed? Were they composed by you? <laughs> Say again, please, in the mic. I, uh, uh, the first one we played, the slow one, was uh, called um, The Same Way Back. And the second one was a variation of a standard that is sort of become a, uh, my own tune by changing everything around so much. So it's based on You Stepped Out of the Dream, but I call it Cross Atlantic View number something. <laughs> yeah, I, and it's number two, I am, that's true. And it's, uh, yeah, it's great to have these musicians uh, making music of it. So thank you guys. And thank you as well. So skillful plagiarism is absolutely permitted in the world of jazz. Is that correct? Or if done well, anyways. Oh, it's essential, Yvonne. Okay, good. So then we've had the ex essential experience here this evening. Um, how how uh, are we? Are we very strict in terms of time here? Like, yeah. All right. So let me just extend some some thanks to the people who have made this possible this evening, and then we're gonna do. Uh, and one more little call back before we, uh, before we close off. And thank you so much, everybody at home, for joining us. We had lots of nice comments coming in. Also on my personal telephone WhatsApps from friends saying that they were really enjoying themselves, cooking a nice dinner, having you in the background, having you in the foreground. You know, like sometimes they were like, nah, we want to talk or we want to kiss or we want to make love. But you were still there in the background <laughs> with them while all of these things were taking place. Uh, so that's nice. <laughs> Um, so, I would first like to thank, well, first of all, I want to thank you, Henning, for organizing all of this, uh, because if you hadn't come up with this concept, then this room would currently be empty, so please give it up for Henning. <laughs> Huzzah. And then, flipping through the book, I would like to thank the director of the Goethe Institute, Miko Fritze, because if he hadn't agreed to your insane plan of bringing a bunch of us artist types into the building, then it also wouldn't have happened. So give it up for Miko. <laughs> and then let's go down the list and thank all the musicians who played for us this evening on the double bass and the curator of the evening. We had Thomas Winter Anderson. Yeah. On keys, we've got Dan Herweg. Yeah. On percussion, Henning Luther. <laughs> Vocals, Laura Polense. Tenor sax, Natalio Sued. <laughs> On the guitar, Evan Har Evan. Evan, Evan Har Evan. And um, on trumpet, Alistair van der Molen. <laughs> and let us not forget our fantastic team who has been filming us all evening. Now I have to flip back some pages to get, to get your names in front of me. One moment, please. That is... Lo, uh, Lode, Lode de Rose and Luciana Bolivar. Thank you both so much for making all of this possible. All right. Oh, you know nothing. I don't have a name. I'm just a little wallflower standing here. No, my name is uh, Margo van der Linde. I'm, uh, I'm a performer, I'm a host, I'm an improviser, and I'm really, really glad that you invited me to host this evening for you. I had a wonderful time. When I wasn't hosting, I was just listening and enjoying myself. Uh, so let's give it one more call back before we close off. Come on over, everybody who wants to make some music. This means.
your coat and get your hat and leave your worries on the dull or step and just direct your feet into the sunny side of the street I can't you hear a bit of bit of bad and that happy tune is your and I can be so
all good things must come to an end, but I just want to say that I think that was a very um, upbeat and positive way to end things. Sunny side of the street, we got to keep looking on the sunny side of things. I don't know about the people at home, but personally, I was uh, dancing in the far corner of the Goethe Institute on my own, so I hope some of you joined over there in the other realm of the ether. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for joining us. Thank you for setting a wonderful example by already putting your face mask on as you prepare to leave your drum kit. That is good COVIDian behavior, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks so much for being with us this evening. We are going to go and have a well-deserved meal with each other, almost like a Christmas meal. Uh, greetings from the Go to Institute. We hope to see you around in real life, and until then, take care of yourselves. Good night.